You know what's insane? To this day, I still keep having folks approach me saying that Frame is only good enough for building basic and static marketing sites, right? Which is nuts. I keep hearing this from Webflow users all the way through to developers building on Next.js or developers building on no-code tools like Bubble or even all the way through to Vibe Coders, for, for instance. And it's nuts because, you know, maybe some of you guys are in the comments section, but if you're part of that camp, then you need to take a closer look at what Frame has been doing over the last couple of years because they've taken it far from just a marketing site builder to so much more. And that's what I wanna uncover in this video because the truth is with Frame CMS, with their custom code components, with their custom overrides, you can build so much more than just marketing sites, right? And if you've been following this channel, you may have seen, you know, even in the context of marketing sites, you can build very sophisticated marketing funnels now and I've been sharing that in this channel, right? So do check those videos out after this one if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, my name's Omar Farouk, designer turned startup founder. And in this channel, I share my journey of ups and downs and you know all the insights and learnings I gained through building my startups and trying to achieve success with them. So if you're interested in all of that stuff, then do smash that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the topic at hand. All right, so the first category we're gonna talk about is digital product marketplaces. This is one of the first use cases I use Framer for. I use it specifically on my startup, uh, glorified.com's website. In fact, all the links will be given below in the description for anything I cover in this video. Plus, we're gonna be showcasing these sites as we talk through them. But glorified.com, little side story, recently got acquired by leadpages.com um, and I currently work there as director of product experience. If you go to the site today, you'll see in the navigation menu, there's a section for templates and you can go into the create a template marketplace from there. And it's simple. We have a CMS for our templates and we have a CMS for our creator profiles. Anyone that wants to be a creator submits a form. We then go through the form and once they validate it, we create a profile manually for them in the CMS. And as they publish more templates, we assign the creator profile to the templates. So if you go to the template feed, you can see all of the templates across all of our creators in one feed. Various ways to categorize the templates via filters. You can then click through into a specific creator as well to see templates directly associated with them in one single feed. And you have the dedicated CMS items when you click into a template to see the dedicated template page with all the thumbnails, the preview, the features of the templates and the information that you need to know. Um, and yeah, template creators earn revenue through commissions and template sales, which is really nice. We also recently expanded the template marketplace to our own native uh, templates. And this has a much more richer feed with more categorization options, which is super nice. And yeah, really, if you go check those pages out, you can see the potential of what you can do with a digital marketplace. Another marketplace we recently launched, this is about last year when Framer released uh, plugins, we launched a plugin called Framer Device Mockups. This is alongside my colleague, Chris Nutbean. Uh, and essentially what Device Mockups does is you can instantly have a library of hyper-realistic device mockups in 3D, which are Framer components that can drop directly into your Framer project and you can quickly switch out the visual inside of the device so you can showcase your app, your SaaS project or your website in a really, um, you know, kind of beautiful way, right? And we have a dedicated website there. And if you go to the website, again, link below, you'll see there's a feed there that showcases all of our device mockups with categorization and filtering, as well as the ability to download the free mockups that are available on this feed. And if you try to access the locked mockups that are not available, it will actually prompt you to install the uh, actual plugin inside of Framer and then proceed to purchase one of our plans. So super nice uh, that you can do that with Framer when it comes to digital product marketplaces. Now, similar to digital product marketplaces, you can also build out e-commerce sites also leveraging the CMS. In fact, I have a dedicated tutorial video where I walk you through this process. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link that video too. By leveraging the CMS, you can create an e-commerce store by simply setting up your CMS with all of the custom fields that you want to showcase your product gallery, your product description, and all the information. Uh, and then one of your fields is gonna be a URL field where you can link to the external checkout page. Now, with this system, of course, your users won't have a typical add to cart experience. They're simply coming on your e-commerce page or site and they're finding, they're browsing products that they like in a similar uh, form to your digital product marketplace. And once they want a product they want to purchase, they simply click the purchase link that takes them to an external checkout page where they go ahead and purchase. So not your typical add to cart experience, but if you want an add to cart experience, you can do that by simply using using one of the e-commerce plugins available in the Framer Marketplace today. Some of those include Frameship by uh, Insert Frame, which is a fantastic
fantastic plugin. I've had great things about them. And there's also Framer Commerce. By the way, Framer Commerce has some incredible customers that use their plugin today, including Perplexity. They actually leverage Framer Commerce for their merch uh, Shopify site, right? So both of these plugins are actually Shopify integrations. So do check those out. And I believe there should be a couple of more in there if you go ahead and browse inside of the plugin marketplace. Then we also have web applications. Like, yeah, believe it or not, you can actually build out lightweight web apps inside of Framer. In fact, I've done this for myself within my startup Blitzit, which is a productivity tool. On a single page, we actually built out a Pomodoro timer, rich with various features such as, you know, the ability to curate your timer with a beautiful background, uh, add focus music and track your tasks and have a checklist of the accomplishments and celebratory kind of experiences as you kick off each task and all the while through going through an ordinary Pomodoro timer technique with, you know, 25 minutes or any setup that you want of work time followed by short breaks or long breaks, right? Depending on how you set it up. So go check that out again, link below. Uh, and you know, we did this by leveraging custom code components and custom overrides. And if you don't know how to code today, then an easy way to actually build simple lightweight web apps for your website is by leveraging Framer's workshop tool, which is literally a vibe coding plugin that exists right on Framer that allows you to chat with AI to build out your own custom component. So you can definitely build simple apps like I've done uh, by leveraging workshop. Although for our plugin, I actually collaborated with my developer, right? This is, this is a little side note there, but I know with Workshop, there's a lot that you can do. So do check that out. Just a quick note on the strategy for the web application we created on that site is that it's a free Pomodoro timer. You don't need to sign in or log in to use it. And the cool thing about that is that it gets lots of traffic to our site. And as kind of like a side promo that we include inside of that experience is promoting our flagship application, which is paid. It's a strategy that I uh, got inspired by other companies that leverage this idea of having free tools on a web page, the likes of Veed.io, HubSpot has done this in the past, uh, etc. So it's a very uh, cool strategy to kind of leverage traffic and then convert that traffic to paid customers. All right, moving on to the next category, we have documentation and knowledge hubs. This is super cool because previously you'd have to use a third party tool like Intercom or Zendesk to manage all of your customer knowledge articles uh, with your support team, right? Which today, now with Framer, we just have everything directly on Framer available there uh, and manage by a support team inside of the Framer CMS. And there's a couple of obvious advantages of doing that. Number one, we're cutting the cost of the third party tool. Uh, we have everything built into one system, so it's easier to manage. It's just the Framer site, our blogs, our pages, and our Knowledge Hub is managed inside of one page and one site, which is just in sort of uh, you know efficiency point of view. And then finally, there's also an SEO consideration, right? Because all of that traffic that would ordinarily go to a third party site is now coming to our website, both by direct traffic traffic uh, from an application or other, or perhaps they're probably searching for answers on Google and then stumbling across our dedicated articles for the information they're looking for and then coming to our site. So, you know, this could potentially elevate our site from an SEO perspective, right? And, you know, that's why I really love the fact that you can build really awesome documentation pages inside of Framer directly. And in fact, if you want a knowledge hub or help centered style template, we've got a template called Wisdom. I'll link that below. It's available in the Framer Marketplace. It's really popular. Hundreds of businesses now use it as their sort of source of customer information uh, and help center. And it has a bunch of rich features all the way through to a full search, pinned quick links for your articles, suggested content, and it has you know a bunch of other cool stuff in there that you can go check out. In fact, we use Wisdom, uh, my Framer documentation template across all of my other startups. So if you go to Blitzit, for example, my productivity tool, uh, and go to our help center, you'll see how the template is being used there to deliver all of our support uh, article and content. Hopefully that's helpful, do check that out. Moving on to the next category, we have membership sites and courses. Now I haven't done this myself, but there's a really cool um, framer creator and builder called Cedric Moore. He's really active on X or Twitter. Uh, and in fact, he has an entire course that he sells that talks about how to earn money with Framer. And he built that course on a Framer site with membership features by leveraging Outsetter. Outsetter is a third party membership tool that he integrated into his Framer site. And the crazy part is that not only is he selling his own course called Framer Money to teaching people how to earn money with Framer, he also sells in a very cheeky way, the, the site that he built to deliver his course, he sells as a template with 
with all of the sort of integrated features. So if you want to launch a course on Framer as a membership site, you can do that with this template. So I'll link that as well. But other than Outsetter, there's a bunch of other cool Framer plugins that you can uh, use to build membership sites inside of Framer. One of them being uh, Thenti by Insert Frame, uh, you know, fantastic tool, you know, led by Ryan Hayward. He's an awesome Framer creator. Uh, he's the guy who also built Frameship, the Shopify integration with his team. And then there's also Framer Auth, which is a really popular choice as well. So if you want to have gated content inside of your Framer sites, these plugins are worth taking a look at. Now, another cool nugget that I wanted to put in this video is that my friend and colleague, Chris Nutbean, um, you know, he's been really pushing Framer to his limits and he's even been exploring the potential of turning a Framer site into a fully functional SaaS with, you know, state management and, you know, everything you need to actually build out a user experience inside of Framer behind the membership, uh, you know, sign up, which is really cool. And he, in fact, he kind of teased some of this recently in one of our Framer meetups in London. So I will uh, kind of probably link the video to that soon once it's out in the description. So if you don't find the link there, the video is probably not out yet, but do stay tuned for that. But that pretty much wraps it all up. Uh, so just to conclude guys, Framer is not just for marketing sites. You can build digital marketplaces, e-commerce stores. You can build lightweight web apps today on Framer. You can build knowledge hubs and documentation sites. You can even build membership platforms with the potential of even having fully functional SaaS in the future, right? As you know, people really pushes the features to its limits. So I'm really excited about where Framer is going. And look, they recently raised a hundred million on a two billion dollar valuation, which means that they're really gonna double down and expand here. They've also recently launched design pages, which now, you know, allows you to have Figma light features directly on Framer to have freeform design. It was already a freeform design tool, but this gives you a, a, an area to explore and iterate before you actually build out your, uh, you know, published pages, which is super cool. They've been putting a lot of work into their AI wireframe tools. So if you wanna work with AI to kind of flesh out the overall structure of your page, you can do that with Wireframer and kind of get to your ideas in seconds, which is really, really amazing, right? And as mentioned, there's also Workshop, the AI vibe coding tool, which allows you to generate fully functional custom code components based on just the prompt, right? So all of this is really just taking Framer to giving you unlimited flexibility. And in fact, in my next video, I'm gonna actually be walking through live session on workshop showcasing what you can actually build with workshop this is actually going to be an, ex an experiment uh, for myself where i want to actually i have a specific component in mind that i want to build out using workshops so do stay tuned for that video uh, but other than that you know if you've got value from this video make sure you smash that subscribe button and do check out these suggested videos i know you're going to dig them but other than that as i always say in this channel never stop building